Oh, this is Halo 5 Tutor with another Halo 5 multiplayer gameplay commentary. As always, I'm bringing you the tips and tricks that you need to step up your game and take it to the next level. I'll help you win more often and have more fun while you're doing it. This is a capture the flag game type on Colosseum. And so I'm going to give you a few strategies for how to win the capture the flag game types. It hasn't changed a lot in Halo 5, so I'll go over some of the basics. The two most important ideas that you need to keep in mind with Capture the Flag are cooperation and opportunity. So those are the two topics I'm really going to focus on here. For starters, cooperation. Capture the Flag, you need to cooperate with your teammates probably more than any other objective game type that's out there right now. It's absolutely imperative that you cooperate with your teammates. And what you really want to focus on doing uh, is controlling the map. The map control is more important in Capture the Flag than any other game type because you eventually are going to have to run the flag from one end of the map out of your opponent's base all the way to the other end of the map into your base. And that's going to be very difficult to do if you do not have map control. So there's a lot of different things you can do to establish map control, which is a good idea in any game type but absolutely critical in Capture the Flag. First off, power weapons, that's a given. You need to be controlling the power weapons. Uh, whether you're good with the sniper rifle or not, you can't let it fall into your opponent's hands. Okay, so that's absolutely imperative. The next thing you need to do is establish the advantageous positions. So uh, the elevated positions, the positions that have excellent cover, the positions that have good lines of sight, you, you need to make sure that you're controlling those positions so that when the time does come to run the flag, you've got things set up, you're in a good position to move the flag. And that leads me to my next op uh, topic, which is opportunity. So you don't want to just head straight for the flag over and over again. That's ridiculous. Uh, that's not going to win you many games. What you want to do is look for the right opportunity to get in there, grab the flag, and get out as quickly and get over to your, your base as soon as possible. So I'm going to go over a few things there, but you don't want to just run into the base. You want to establish map control. You want to set yourself up as a team, as I've talked about before, and then look for an opportunity to go in and get that flag, preferably when you've taken down at least one or two or three of your opponents and they've left the map somewhat empty. So while they're busy responding, you can get a nice head start on that flag capture. So you're gonna see I'm moving in here. I've got the rocket launcher. I feel like they're all kind of respawning here in the base. So I come in aggressively. I get a triple kill with the rockets and then I grab the flag and start moving it towards my base immediately. And I just wanna take a straight shot. I'm juggling the flag, tossing it uh, forward so that I can move more quickly. I toss it to an opponent here who grabs it on the other side of the ravine. I'm covering the base here so that he'll be able to come in and capture it cleanly without uh, any opponents interfering. Of course, they're going to push the base when they see that their flag is gone. So this is an opportunity for you to hold them off until you get that capture, which we're able to do. We've got a 2-0 lead and things are looking pretty good. If you have not learned how to juggle the flag yet, that's okay, but it is an important skill to learn. Uh, it's something that you can practice in game, of course, or you can go into just a custom game and practice it yourself, do some flag running. Uh, it's it's not it's really not that complicated, but it takes a little bit of practice. What you want to do is kind of jump and throw the flag forward, and then pick it up again, jump, throw the flag forward, so on and so forth. But the problem is, is when you're carrying the flag, it slows you down a lot. You move much more slowly. But if you're juggling the flag, you're actually not holding the flag for the, the majority of the distance between the two points. So you can actually move much, much more quickly. And generally speaking, if you're following the tips that I've given you here, you're going to have team support, you're going to have map control. You generally want to head for the straightest point between your base and their base. Because the flag can be recovered very, very quickly. So at the very least, you want it to get over across the midway point of the map so that you can get it onto your side of the map where your teammates can give you a more assistance, where your teammates can grab that flag if you don't have it, where you can support your teammate who's running the flag. So those are all important strategies. Well, uh, I know these were just kind of the basics here, but uh, hopefully I've given you a few things that will give you the upper hand in your next Capture the Flag match. I appreciate you watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumb up. Share it with your friends. Put it on your channel. Whatever the case may be, 
The poll question of the day is, have you learned how to juggle the flag yet? Do you find that it's difficult to do, or is it uh, something that you're able to learn fairly quickly? That'll give some of the new players an idea of how much practice they're going to need to uh, learn their flag juggling skills. Thanks for watching, everybody. Halo 5 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.